hype for this Baylor has been real, and now we've got it. What's going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we got 28 mods for you, better than the two we had yesterday. For all platforms, we have eight new and 19 updates. And PC and Mac, we have one new. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. You know, we got to talk about it the Far APN Baylor from EY Modding. This is going to make 300 liter square bales, small baby bales. We're going to make some of those today. Requires 15 horsepower, has a 1.5 meter working width at six miles per hour. And if you guys are on consoles, it's going to take up four slots. You're going to be able to bail the normal stuff. So straw, hay, and grass. That is nice. And there is no customization. It's going to cost you $9,000. So let's do it. We're going to be pulling this with the Kramer KL200 tractor. This is also from EY Modding Heads Up. And you get it for all platforms. So all we got to do is simply unfold the baler, which is going to pop it out. We can raise and lower just like a normal baler and turn it on. And we're going to pick up some straw. There you go. Ba boom Now, it doesn't look like it's picking it up crazy fast. And then all of a sudden, it has taken off. So there we go. We got baby bales popping out like crazy now. If we can get it lined up just right. There we go. Now, one thing about this, it's not going to... Well, it just kind of drops them, doesn't it? It doesn't have a trailer with it, so do keep that in mind. Uh, maybe we'll get one at some point, but we don't have one right now. It does have a hookup for it, though. So that that is very good. I think the big question would be here, can we auto load these? So let's give it a try. I've got a Flegel Baby Bell auto loading. Let's put it into, auto, and this bell is not supported. So heads up, big heads up with this. If you guys are gonna be using it, you cannot auto load these. You can't even load them. You can't pick them up though. That's pretty cute. Next up for all platforms, we have the self-made trailer. This is going to be, Main color, different colors right here. Choose what you like. Rim color, you guys know what that is. We'll just go with the black and design color. What is this? Ooh, the frame on the bottom. We can change that color. That's kind of neat. Didn't think about that. Hey, I like that. License plates. So we have Poland, Germany, France, or none. So you don't have to have that if you don't want to. This is said to be used by pickup trucks and things like that in game. So if you want to use it, there you go. Also, if you guys are on consoles, this is only going to take up two slots. Your next new mod for all platforms is the small barrels. These are homemade tanks for small farms, which is great to see. We've got two of them. So we have just the normal barrel, which will do water and milk. And then we have the slurry barrel, which will do slurry and digestate. So let's start with barrel right here. It's going to hold or 2,000 liters of milk or water. It is going to cost you $1,000 and have a four slot requirement. You could change up a few things, including the main color, which we've got an older color palette and a little bit of a newer color. So let's go with a portrait and let's go with, uh, yeah, sure. There you go. And then we'll set up so we have standard, narrow tires, more narrow tires, more narrow tires, maybe more narrow tires. Back to standard again. All right. So there you go with that. And if we go over to slurry barrel, this is going to have a 2000 liter um, hold. It has the three meter working whip and nine miles per hour. So it is a slurry spreader. Great to see that. This will also take up four slots. Main color. Well, we'll just go with the brown. <laughs> Makes sense. We'll make some yellow uh, wheels there for no other reason. And then the same wheel setup. We got new barrels for you today. We have a regular barrel, which will do water and milk, 2000 liter capacity. We could change up the colors from these right here. We also have rim colors as well, which is nice. And a couple different wheel setups. So we have standard, narrow tires, more narrow tires, and more narrow tires. It's only going to cost you $1,000 and take up four slots on consoles. As far as the slurry barrel, same 2000 liter capacity. However, this is a a spreader so three meter working with nine miles per hour same main colors same rim colors and same wheel designs how's about some greenhouses we got those for you today the pack greenhouses we have peppers tomatoes lettuce and cucumbers now these are just kind of placeable money spots basically so you add manure and water and they will auto sell every hour if you guys are in easy they're going to make you 180 bucks in uh, easy normal is 120 bucks an hour and hard is 80 bucks the greenhouse peppers tomatoes and lettuce are all going to take up 12 slots on consoles with the cucumbers taking up 13 slots right here we have 
the peppers. So we could go in and take a look. Peppers will pop up in here once you add manure and water outside. And that's about it. They will auto sell, so you don't have to worry about selling these. As a matter of fact, you wouldn't be able to anyway, because then it would add a different fill point. So manure goes here, as always. Water goes here, as always and you're good to go. We got some new shelters for you if you guys need any buildings. This is the wooden shelter shed, but we've got a bunch of them. So let's start with open shelter. This is gonna cost you $9,000, daily maintenance of 10 bucks per day. If you're on console, it's gonna take up six slots. Uh, all of these share a characteristic. They look a little cartoony. Uh, nothing bad about that. The details are actually very high. I think maybe it's just having to do with the coloring or something like that. I mean, you got great details all around. Everything looks really good. Just a little cartoony, that's all. Nothing wrong with that. Then we have the concrete wall shelter. This is going to be $12,000, 15 bucks per day, and or 16 slots on consoles, do keep that in mind. Same build, we've just got a wall added to it, and we have some extra decorations on the inside. Then lastly, we have the shelter wooden wall. So same thing, just with some wooden walls on here. This one's gonna cost you $12,000 and 15 bucks per day as well. And this one's gonna be a little bit lower for you at 13 slots. And we got lights, which is great. They're not too bright either. Perfect. Your next new mod for all platforms is going to be the uh, pig field with pig sty. This is going to cost you $70,000. Uh, holds 48 pigs and is going to be eight slots for you guys. So do keep all that in mind. As a matter of fact, online it says 48. However, uh, it also says 80. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, that says 48. That's not 80. Uh, there you go. Animal pen extension, seasons ready, animated gates, warning sides, high triggers. The garden hose can be, uh, straw can be provided in bells. Bulk are blown in. Food is only done in bulk at the food trough. There you go. It does look a little bit low poly. I, I will say, I know there's a lot of high detail mods out there now. Um, so sometimes it's kind of hard to compare mods between the two, but this one just, it looks a little bit lower, well, especially here on the wood. But then again, you're never gonna be in there. <laughs> you shouldn't be. So there you go. You got your pig field with the pig stat. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the beehive. This is going to cost you 100 bucks and it will make you money as well. So if you're an easy 25 bucks an hour, that's only going to pay for itself four hours. Nice. If you're in normal $16 and if you're in hard eight bucks per hour, daily upkeep is $10 per day and it's going to be two slots. Even makes a little bit of a noise. Got little bees flying out everywhere. Hey, that's cool. I always like these beehives. This is kind of how I made my money in Farm Sim 17. I just put a bunch of these down and then it would just help me make money every day. So maybe I should start doing that again. Yeah. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Station Supply, aka Gas Station. Would be nice if it shared the name it has in game. Make sure you guys don't go looking for Station Supply. It will show up as Gas Station in game. This is going to be $12,000, 50 bucks per day. It's going to be seven slots to place down. And at the end of the day, all it is is a fuel station for you. I will say, it does look pretty good. I like the like massive tank with the piece on the front. I don't know, it's a, something to it. It's kind of neat, a uh, little different. I like that. Plus you got lights, so this is going to be nice. Uh, place it down on your farm. I think it's going to look perfect. All right, let's get into the 19 updates for all platforms, starting off with the Pack Vias Truck Revolution. It's now a pack. Instead of just having the normal Revolution truck, now we have an IT Runner version as well. And that's going to be the Changelog version 1.0.1, added VS Truck Revolution IT Runner version, and added tire configuration. So let's take a look at it. This is going to have 480 horsepower, 810 liters of fuel, 55 miles an hour. Main color, well, got all these. Let's go with a new age green, like it. Rim color, uh, again, A2 Studios colors, straight copy and paste. You guys are familiar with those. And then design color. Ooh, what is this? If only we had Old Citadel, I would know. Uh, ah, well, there it is. <laughs> and then we got some wheel setups for you guys as well. Neat wheel setups to do like those custom wheels, the spider wheels. I believe those are off of their international truck that came out like a year or two ago, something like that, probably. And then a couple different engines on here as well, including a 1723 horsepower engine. Yikes. The Irmo Levante's got an update, version 1.0.1. They have fixed the visual issue and fixed the AI worker. I will tell you, 
if you are looking for mods, SMI modding team makes some of the most detailed and most realistic and lifelike mods out there on ModHub. It really, really is hard to get much better than what SMI modding do. So if you guys are looking for the best, check out SMI modding. Just search for them on the mod hub. You'll find everything you want. From Sid Modding, some big updates to John Deere 9020 series and 9030 series. This is going to be changelog 1.002 fixed an issue with the blade attachment and attachment has been added for additional front tanks there you go so as you know carl farms uh, has got some front tanks and monix got some front tanks on these so all you got to do is go over here and there you go you'll be able to pick what you need but that's not all the john deere 87 60 89 60 has the same update version 1.001 added the blade attacher so they've added it now as well as the attachment has been added for additional front tanks. Our Massey Ferguson 398's got an update, version 1.2 added an awning option. So now you could do that. So you have open, cab, you've got a, uh, put the iron behind, and then an awning. Plus, they have fixed some bugs. And the Massey Ferguson 3105, the Phantom, the Virgin Change Long 1.1, added single pull option. So there you go. You got that if you need it. Uh, I don't. I, I don't actually know what that means. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we got an option for the Joyce Far 4080. Very, very popular small tractor right here from Blue King. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Cabin option has been added. So there you go. We now have a cabin version. Very cool. Here's a surprise update for you. We haven't got anything on this in over a year. The Wilson Paysetter Super B update version 1.0. Point two model adjustments. So they've changed up a few little things and we've got the SB harvesting because this is from SB farms modding and it's a wheat, beans and corn. I like that, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that are not gonna like that because it doesn't make it look as clean or as nice. Uh, just to be fair with you, I'm probably gonna revert to the old version. And we have the same update for the Wilson Pace Setter A train as well, version 1.0.2 model adjustments so we've got the same thing here on the a train as well the sb harvesting wheat soybeans and corn and an update to the lizard 15 13 11 version number two cylinder has been added yeah <laughs> so there you go and a couple different cylinder options we'll say the detail on those is pretty darn high. Gotta say that for sure. Yet another update to the old Lizard car trailer pack. This is gonna be version 1.7. One axle trailer has been updated and added new Midas tires and Lizard tires. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have those. The self-made forest trailers got an update. Version 1.001, minor fixes and improvements. Yes, classic. Has about a great update to the New Holland CR690. This is going to be version 1.4. Fix the decals, light on the discharge, two pipes been added, motors have been added, the 880 and the 1090. That 880 is going to be 449 horsepower with 11,500 liter capacity. And if we go over to the 1090, 700 horsepower with a 13,200 liter capacity. Also, mod description version up to 53. Fix the misalignment, fix the cutting depth. Cam camper has been fixed, camper has been fixed, something like that, and change the body so that it occupies less memory. This is one of my favorite combines in game, and one of my favorite, like, middle of the road starting combines if you're on a bigger farm, it gives you room to grow, but you've got uh, upgrade options on the mod itself. Check it out. That's about an update to one of the most popular older combines now from Black Eyes Modding. The New Holland TF series. This is update 1.1 1 .1 added iron track. So now you have normal wide tires, crawler track, and an iron crawler track. They've also corrected the coupling height as well. The Limkin Heliodor 690's got an update version 1.2. New specular, new details, new configuration tires, and new configuration rollers. All right, so let's check it out. We have Trelleborg, we have Michelin tires, Midas tires, and Trelleborg, we have standard tire, wide tire, got that 404, baby, let's go, love those, and then design standard, and then we got a couple different rollers. Nice, hey, great update right here, Steve Monty. We've also got an update to the Lieber Grinder from Ada Monty and the ABP team featuring Black Sheep Modding. This is going to be version 1.1. 1 .1. Redid the model to fit all one spec map. Added all base game colors to the configuration. AW you are the man. They've also kept in those custom colors as well. Very cool there. 
Great, great, great job with that. They've optimized the file, lowered the slot count, new store image and icon, and optimized the XML. We do have an update to Barn Pack from, uh, was it, Tommy Check, but I, I don't know what this is. Version one, it's showing, I think this is version three at this point. Uh, big barn, small Polish garage, large building. I got, I got nothing. It hasn't told us anything, so I, I don't know what to tell you. How's about a nice update to the Arched Cow Shed version 1.001? And before I read this out loud, I want to say that modders do listen. This is changed on 1.001. I had a version for 40 cows. If you guys remember, the original version of this only held 15, and they've now increased that capacity up to 40 cows. I don't know if it's a realistic or unrealistic version. Either way, I'm very appreciative of the update. Thank you. And lastly, your last update, number 19. This is going to be Solar Shed, or Shed Solar Panels Package yep uh version 1.1 improved the texture small sheds been added which are right here in front of you and minor fixes metal shelters have been added boom there you go oh i need a break that's too many mods and our one lone pc mod the bdm 8x2 pc this is going to be 300 horsepower required, eight meter working with a 10 miles per hour cultivator. Taking a look at the detail, detail looks pretty good on here. Very, very nice. Well guys, after all that, I think I need a little bit of a break, so I'm gonna enjoy myself this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. My weekend plans have changed a little bit. I think we're doing the farm sim show today, so stay tuned for that. I'll be set. Oh yeah, and fact sheets are out, so go check them out. <laughs> hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.